This is Twit. Uh, so a buddy of mine got the Samsung Galaxy Note 9 recently, and we we're talking about how great of a device it is. And uh, he said the first thing he does is turns Bixby off. But then I was telling him about Dex, and it turns out Dex wasn't didn't work on the Note, except that now they're going to announce support for Dex on the Galaxy Note 9 and the Tab S4. Well, it's not so it's the, not Dex; it's Linux well, on Dex. Linux, so Dex did Linux work. on Dex, yeah. right? Yeah. But so, um, so Samsung Dex's mo Dex mode bridges the gap between the mobile phone and desktop experience, um, and it relies on Samsung's own desktop environment. But earlier this year, Samsung announced, like you mentioned, Linux support via Dex with a modified version of Ubuntu 16.04 via partnership mm. with Canonical. Now this feature is finally being rolled out to the Note 9 and Tab S4 users as an installable beta app called Linux on Dex. Uh, and the current target market is developers, uh, and it's limited that it can't run programs designed for Intel processors. <laughs> Um, which is crazy. Um, and it requires four gig of RAM and eight gig storage at minimum. And the beta registration is now through December 4th. So you got less than a month to register for this. And there's no word on if the Galaxy S9 uh, users will be able to get support for this. So if you're a developer and you want Linux on your decks, uh, go sign up on this thing. Uh, I don't know where you go. Where do you go to sign up for the beta thing? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I don't there's know. There's a website the there. there. Yeah, yeah. So this is pretty cool, though. Here you go. Yeah, if you go to the XDA article about this, or go to linuxondex.com. They, they bought a domain and everything. Linuxondex.com. Uh, and you can register for that. That's pretty cool. I love Dex. I wish Dex was like a Pixel thing and not a Samsung thing. But uh, that's maybe, just me. Maybe it will be. <laughs> yeah. You know, as they, yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced that it won't at some time be because that makes a lot of sense for Google to do that. The way Chrome OS is kind of mashing Android apps in there. I mean, we've been talking about this for years, so that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, do you think like, like Dex is nice and I love how they integrated it with the S9 series, making it more of just like something that automatically happens if you plug in a USB dongle, a USB-C dongle. Mm -hmm. So that's great. You don't need an extra piece of hardware, like, you know, an extra kind yeah. of pre, uh, Samsung specific piece of hardware, anything works. Does the inclusion of Linux support be it as limited as it may be here, uh, does that kind of raise the stakes for you, Mario? Does that make Dex more more yes. of a utility that you would consider? Yes, actually, uh, I got my invite, um, and I've been busy with some stuff with both uh, school and XCA. So now that it's Thanksgiving, um, Thanksgiving break and stuff, I can't wait to geek out with it. Nice. Um, because I've been actually waiting for this kind of stuff. I've always been interested in these kind of uh, hybrid systems where you have, say, your phone or your tablet and you can turn it into a proper computer, right? This is why I don't like, say, the iPad Pro, but I really always like the, um, the Surface products. I've owned uh, Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 2 as well. Um, I'm doing this from Surface Book. Um, and I also always had an interest. I interviewed a few people that came up with projects like this on the XDA site. We've featured numerous times uh, kind of these um, uh, Android ROMs that could act like like desktop experiences. Um, there's also, um, but, but in, in any case, this is fantastic. Um, I think that the ability for this to become an actual productivity OS, and not just productivity, but it means that you can grab your phone and turn it into a work environment for one of the uh, more limiting kind of productivity tasks there are. Because something like something like creative work um, right now on the iPad Pro, you you can do it. You're limited a little bit, right? It's not as optimal. Um, but it, um, I think it was Morrison today, the YouTuber, posted a video about how he edited a full video on the new iPad Pro. Uh, that's great. It's still not optimal, but you can't make a full app on the iPad Pro uh, or or, an, or on an Android tablet for that matter. But now with Dex, uh, Linux on Dex, it comes with the IDEs ready. Uh, you can make C++ apps. You can make Java apps. Um, and personally, personally, I don't make apps. I, I just uh, write Python and MATLAB um, for kind of the mathematics side of things and data science. Um, but even then, I, I like the idea that I have the option to there's tons of, for example, um, tons of monitors on campus that just have uh, various outlets like HDMI and uh, I think some of them you support USB-C video. Um, the idea that I can just grab and plug my phone in there yeah. and then I can access my GitHub and I can like have a wireless keyboard or whatever and and and, and modify code there. Um, 
that's pretty crazy. And right now, it doesn't feel like as realized, right? But in the future, I could totally see this becoming a thing where people don't carry around computers. They just carry out phones or, or at least it's more common that people carry out phones that they can like dock onto things. And you see, do- you see like stations where you dock your phone or whatever. Um, I think it's exciting. I think that uh, Samsung's doing a good job as well, promoting DeX, promoting this part of DeX. And also at their developer conference not too long ago, uh, they really focus on, okay, how can developers bring um, their apps to DeX in a way that kind of transitions between mobile and desktop. I think that, you know, they're really pushing it. And I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Google catches up to this. And uh, they also, like you said, figure out a way to do something similar, maybe with Chrome OS. Mm-hmm. Well, in Chrome OS, we know from uh, Google I.O., they've got Linux support, you know, on the Chrome OS side of things. Right. Um, so, man, just, you know, that that would be really cool if, if suddenly yeah, we end be. up in a point where the Pixel like the devices, OS, yeah. that, that, that's yet another aspect of it, um, mm-hmm. you know, kind of baking in some sort of capability of Linux into the, the Pixel. Uh, so yeah, the, I, I think more. I think what Samsung has done this year in particular around Dex has been really uh, positive for both the phones that it's launching on because it really makes like a Note Nine as as one example an even more powerfully capable device, and also it's it does a lot for Dex itself because I think prior to this year I always felt like Dex was like yeah that's a tall order people aren't going to get that dock you know just to yeah. do it but now it's just like there as easy as a dongle and yeah. now with you know Linux support that makes it even more than just Samsung's desktop OS experience. Yeah. Now it's even more and more capable. And Samsung really wants developers to just get on board its platform. So might as well make a platform for you to develop on, yeah. on its stuff so that you can come and develop stuff for Bixby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then maybe people will, will like Bixby. Yeah, they'll, they'll talk mm, positively no. about Bixby. No. no, sorry, I had to try. Don't think so. <laughs>